Wearing the Jersey, brought to you by WVU Medicine. You're at the highest level of golf you can be at as, a, as an amateur, really. And playing against those guys who, you know someone we're going to be on TV one day, and trying to compete with them and realizing that you can compete is it's just difficult. Every player we're playing against was the best high school golfer. So, you know, we're playing against the best from each high school instead of just playing all, the whole high school team. You're getting the best one from each one. Some of the best nationally ranked golfers as well. So, just the competition is so completely different. You know, it's just kind of been in my blood since I was a little kid, really. I mean, I've been coming to games, football games, basketball games every weekend. And, you know, on Thursday nights, just drive up after school and come up to the basketball game. I, I mean, I grew up being a Mountaineer fan. And, the guys in my last school used to always give me crap because I was always had WVU gear on constantly. I was always wearing gold and blue. So now to be here playing, it's it's kind of hard to put in perspective now that I'm here because it's kind of so busy here, here, and here. But it, I think when I look back on it one more, it'll be one of the best experiences of my life. Oh, that's all we talked about all the way down here. It's ha it happened. He went out on the field Saturday for the game, and everybody high five me and how. You, they all, my community all knew that's what he wanted. They were really supportive and have just called us and it's been so nice how much the club and the home people, the home, the home folk have been so happy for him and me too. His dad and I too. My sister played in college for a year and then she came here after she wasn't a big fan of it. My dad played at Marshall for four years and uh, my whole family pretty much plays. It's been runs to the family. It's how it was supposed to be. I think it was. I didn't mind him being a sand shark at all. I was very I loved that, but it's just it's just what we wanted for him, and it's what he wanted. Play Mountaineer golf. Yeah, it's nice. Nice to know they care. Kind of makes me put in perspective sometimes, when especially having my grandma out there as well. You know, having her watch me and thinking that this is like one of her favorite things to do, and it's just really cool. I don't really know how to put it in words, but it is a really cool experience. Guys like me and, and Easton who are, who are upperclassmen just kind of lead the younger guys and show them what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing and you know on and off the course and it's a big responsibility and it's, it's kind of hard to realize that at the time because you, you kind of still feel like a kid but at the same time you got to be a leader for these younger guys. It's, it's a little difficult but honestly I'm still struggling with it a little bit. You know it's my first semester here and a bigger school and classes are a little harder and workouts are a little longer and it's just, it's just more difficult but I'm starting to figure it out and I think once we all get on the same page, it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> Bob Huggins, we only had a meeting with him the other day, and he was talking about how during the Final Four game, they, they pumped the feet of the game under the coal mines, and I didn't listen to it. And just put that in perspective for you, it's pretty amazing how big this university is in the state. And that's what I would tell people. You're, just, you're part of so much history here, and, and you know, just being from West Virginia in the state, I think this is, the, this is, this is our pro sports, really.